This new thing came out this week and it's called IGTV. And if you don't really know what that means, it's Instagram TV. And I've seen so many people, both with big audiences and small audiences, from celebrities and influencers to people just starting up, saying, should I do Instagram TV or should I do YouTube? So today, that's what I'm talking about. Instagram TV or IGTV versus YouTube. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am your lovely host, Jessica Stansberry, and I'm really glad that you're here. I am sharing weekly content with you guys to help entrepreneurs grow a bigger, better, more visible business through content marketing strategies. And I'm telling you what, like if there was ever a like quintessential video to like what I preach and teach, it's this one. If you are new here and you think that what I'm doing is something you would be interested in in the future, make sure you hit subscribe because I don't want you to miss anything else from this channel. Now, like I say, IGTV is Instagram's version of a TV channel. It is available to everybody as long as you have the update and it is something you just have to turn on and then create a channel on. Your channel is automatically synced to your profile that you're logged in on and it's pretty well self-explanatory. You can upload pre-recorded videos on IGTV and you can actually upload from your computer. Now everything on IGTV is vertical, um, so you do want to stick in that vertical format um, and you know, go with whatever that looks like. To upload pre-recorded things straight to your IGTV channel, you actually go to your profile on a computer and you will upload to the IGTV section there. But of course you can always do it from your phone as well. So a lot of people are having this dilemma. Do I do IGTV? Do I do YouTube? Do I drop YouTube to go with IGTV? Like what do I do? And y'all just stop. <laughs> First of all, just stop. Um, my biggest thing I have to tell you is that IGTV is not something that is going to draw new people to you unless you already are showing up first in hashtags and other methods of Instagram growth. See, IGTV is really only being shown to your followers and people who like things that you're doing. So if you are, you know, doing a makeup tutorial, Instagram is going to show it to people who've watched other makeup tutorials, things like that. Now you can search on IGTV, but it's much more of a search for words that are in the person's profile. It's not as much a search for hashtags or tags or anything like that. So just to put that out there, it is more of something that people who already are building an Instagram following are probably going to want to focus on. So if you're interested in being someone who's like a micro influencer, a blogger, whatever, that's really focusing on YouTube, it might be something you want to jump in on. But for the vast, vast majority of you, you do not need to jump the YouTube train or ship. I guess it's a ship, not a train. But anyway, here's the deal. I've said it 1,012 times. YouTube is owned by Google. That is probably 80% of the magic of YouTube. Because YouTube is owned by Google, that means that your videos can show up in Google search results. That means that when you embed a video into a blog post, that it increases the likelihood that that blog post will be found in Google. That means that YouTube videos can get you found every single second of every single day by a new audience that didn't know about you before. And I am the proof to this. Like I am constantly being found by people who had no clue who I was prior to finding my iMovie tutorials or my Trello tutorials or my YouTube tutorials or whatever they're finding. But with IGTV, it's not really like they're they're not comparable it's like comparing oranges to like starfish <laughs> it's not even in the same family because igt 
starfish. <laughs> So because IGTV is not tied to a search engine, it is not going to catapult the rest of your content to stardom and to searchability. It is not going to get you found super quickly, um, all of those things. And honestly, I don't know how great it's gonna do as a feature. And the thing about it is it doesn't, it, it is another button you have to click to find something on Instagram. It's not, built into the feed, it's not built into the story feed, it's kinda hard to find right now, I'm sure they'll do updates and upgrades, but if you are deciding between Instagram TV and YouTube, there is a clear winner, and that is YouTube, because you are going to get found when people search for your thing on YouTube. You are going to have your videos recommended to people who have similar interests to what you do you are going to increase the SEO of your blog post by putting a YouTube video with them. You are going to be able to get your YouTube videos found by putting in tags and things that allow YouTube to see who should see your video. All of these things are not doable as of right now on IGTV. Honestly, I think it is one of those things you probably need to jump on if you have the bandwidth, if you have the mental capacity to like take on another thing, but if you are trying to decide between the two platforms, YouTube is not worried, and they shouldn't be, because they are dominating the platform in video as far as pre-produced videos and things that are searchable and show up on Google and get people found, and, and the big one, the really, really big one, which I know I'm talking to a lot of entrepreneurs here who your main focus is not really like, you know, monetizing the channel as far as like from YouTube money or Google money, your main focus is hopefully getting leads to your email list and then making sales that way. But guys, YouTube makes you money. Instagram TV does not. Now, if you are prior to monetization, if you've not got monetization yet on your YouTube channel, I can see where this isn't as much of a sticking feature because you can still add external links on IGTV videos. You can you know, do all of those things so you could still make money from affiliates. But when it comes to making money and monetization, they're not gonna pull people off YouTube. I mean, there are people making hundreds of thousands of dollars from their YouTube channel every year that are not gonna jump ship and go to Instagram um, on a platform that's not paying them to do the thing they have been doing or whatever. So I personally don't think it's a huge competition to YouTube. I don't think it should even be a question of IG versus um, YouTube. However, if you are already an Instagram influencer and you have not built out a YouTube platform yet, it wasn't even on your horizon, then I can totally see taking the bull by the horns with IGTV and going for it. But now, you know, if you want your blog post being found more and you want to find be found in search and you want to be the, you know, the person who ranks for a certain key term, then you need to get your booty over here on YouTube because that's where it's at. IGTV versus YouTube, I personally think it is a no contest and YouTube wins the battle, but I would love to hear your thoughts below on if you've been using IGTV, how you felt like it's going so far, what you love about it, what you don't love about it, and you know whatever else you wanna share. And until next time, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button and I will see you later.